Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to make this really really quick and easy plant hanger tutorial. So you can pause the screen now for the measurements in centimetres or check in the description for the measurements in feet and inches. Okay, so here I've got my eight lots of 220 centimeter lengths of cord and I'm using three millimeter three ply macrame cord, which is my favorite and I'll have linked down in the description. I have my one lot of 100 centimeter cord. I have two lots of 50 centimeter cords, scissors, and lastly, I have my tape measure. So to get started, take your eight lots of 220 centimeter lengths of cord and you're gonna fold them in half and then take all the midway points like this in your finger. Like this, and just lay it down on your desk in a line. Trying to make sure you remember where that midway point was. And then you're gonna grab your 100 centimeter length of cord and again split it in half and then take this midway point about five centimeters above where your midway point was and put it underneath all your cords, just like this. So we're gonna be creating rows of square knots here. So take the cord on the right and go over all your middle cords like so. And take the cord on the left and come in front of that one and it'll go behind all these middle cords and then it'll come up behind and through this loop here. And then you can just pull that to tighten it. So this is always the hardest one to get started, the first one I find, but once you get that first one going, it's quite easy. So take the cord on the left over in front of the middle cord and then take this fourth one in front of that one behind the middle cords and then it'll come up from behind through this loop here. So that has completed one square knot now, so you can just tighten that up nice and evenly. And then just keep going in this exact pattern. So the right over the middle two and then the left one over that one behind the middle two and through the loop. So just keep going creating square knots until you've used up all the cord that you have and you can't make any more square knots. Just like this, so I can't make any more square knots now. So I'm just folding it in half so that two ends of the square knots meet together. And then I'm seeing whether each side of the plant hanger has equal amount of length. And if not, you can just slide this knot up and down. Make sure it's nice and even on both ends and you have enough length. Now I'm taking one lot of the 50 centimeter lengths of cord and I'm gonna be creating a wrapping knot. So I've got a small tail at the top like this and then I've got a loop at the bottom. I'm going to wrap this longer tail around all of the cords, holding them in place quite tightly. So you can see I've got this small tail and the loop still there and then I'm just wrapping it around until I've done about five or six wraps just to make sure it's nice and secure. This will also help to cover up some of the cords left over from the square knots. So I'm going to take this long tail bit and I'm going to pass it through this loop here. just like that and then I'm holding it gently in place whilst pulling on the top shorter tail and you'll see the loop start to close and pull that cord in and it will secure it. So pull it until it's about halfway through your knot, don't pull it all the way through as it will undo your knot. And then you can just push and slide the knot to the base of the square knots to make it nice and neat. And then just snip off the excess cords from that wrapping knot and any cords left over from the square knots. Now this is optional, but I'm just gonna take my jewelry pliers just to push in the end, just to make it nice and clean. And now we can get started on the design. So I've just hung mine up on this dowel here just to make it easier to show you. So I'm gonna be splitting it into four groups of four cords. We'd be working on one group of cords at a time. So I'm just putting the other three cords out of the way so they don't get all messed up. So I've just got these four cords here that is gonna be my first section. And I'm gonna measure about nine centimeters down from the top and that's where we're gonna start our design. 
So we're making a spiral here, which is really easy to do. It's just the first half of a square knot and you just repeat that. So we're taking the cord on the right over the middle two. Cord on the left will go over that one, behind the middle two, and then it will come through this loop here. And that is all you need to know for this. So you can just repeat that. So again, the right over the middle two, the one on the left in front of that one, behind the middle two and through this loop. So we can repeat this to make eight knots in total and you'll see it will start to spiral around and create this really pretty spiral detail. As you can see here. So I've completed eight knots in total and you can see it makes this really lovely spiral. So I'm just going to repeat that with my other three groups of cord doing the exact same knot at the same height as well. So you can see I've got all four done and they look really cute together. So I'm taking two groups of cords that were laying next to each other at the top like this. And then I'm going to take two cords from either end so they meet in the middle here, as you can see. And then these are the cords we're going to use to create our next design. So again, on the next one, you'll take the end two cords from the leftover spiral and then take two cords from the next spiral along. So I've got the four cords that I want to work on and I'm going to measure about 30 centimeters down from the last spiral knot that we just created. And I'm going to be creating another set of spiral knots. And in this one, we're going to only do four spiral knots in total. just like that, so it creates a really tiny little spiral. So I'm gonna repeat this using up my other three groups of cords, taking two cords from each spiral knot at the top and creating it at the same height as this little spiral knot. Just like that, so now we've got all four done. Again, I'm taking two spiral knots that were sitting next to each other and again, I'm just gonna take two cords from either one to meet in the middle here. I'm going to measure about nine centimeters down and I'm going to create a, another row of four spiral knots. And then again, I'm just repeating this using three other groups of cords at the same height. Now that the second row of spiral knots is complete, I'm going to measure about 10 centimeters down from the bottom of them. I'm going to take my last lot of 50 centimeter lengths of cord and we're going to create another wrapping knot exactly like we done to finish off the hoop of the plant hanger. So you have the small tail at the top, the loop at the bottom and you're wrapping the longer tail around. Push the long tail through the loop and then pull on the short tail to secure it in place. And I'm snipping off the excess from that. And now it's up to you how long you trim your plant hanger. I'm just gonna trim mine to about 15 centimeters long. Just like that, so it's nice and neat now. Now all that's left to do is put your plant in and enjoy your handmade macrame plant hanger. I really love the way the spirals look against this pot and because we've spaced the spiral knots out quite far apart, it's able to hold bigger pots as well, which looks really great. I really hope you love this plant hang as much as I do. It's quite a simple, basic tutorial and pattern, but it looks really, really great with any plants, especially dangly ones. So if you do recreate this, please be sure to tag me on Instagram at lunacraftonline because I'd love to see it and share it. And of course, I'll link my plant hanger playlist in the iCards as well that you can check out. And if you could subscribe, like, or comment, that'd really help me out and make my day. And I'd really, really appreciate it. And I hope you have a lovely week. Bye.